All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is good and clear. Uh, please invite your friends. As you see, we are broadcasting in different account for today. And please don't forget to subscribe because this is a backup account. Uh, today, our uh, topic, uh, there is Abdul from, uh, he's a Turkish guy from Germany who claimed that he speak Arabic, which is a find very funny. And supposedly, this guy is trying his best to expose Christian prince lies. And you know, and always I find that the Muslims, they amuse me how funny they are and how much helpful they are to get their profit busted. And today, uh, there's no different. Uh, I, I'm not going to play the whole video. It's 18 minutes, you know, and that if I play it, all of it, will make it real long, but you can play it yourself. But you'll see that this guy here, as an example on the screen, he says, when I called someone, I called him an idiot. He says, is that the Holy Spirit? Is that the Holy Spirit making you say to someone idiot? My friend, I say you are an idiot. Your prophet is an idiot. And every Muslim who believe in Islam is an idiot. And we can prove it easy. And today we will prove it. Anyone who believe that God will give you vaginas and each time you sleep with them Allah will make them virgin again he must be an idiot anyone believe that God in heaven he will give you a couch and he will make you wear a bracelet and he will give you a green a green shirt made of silk he must be an idiot and we can continue going forever but let us start one by one first of all in the beginning of the video or in the video, you know, I did not really watch all of it. I just scrolled down uh, A lady last time she called me and she was translating in German So this guy he said this guy <laughs> This guy is allowing his wife To call a Christian prince and talk to a man is this guy <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one so if a person allow his wife to talk to a man that person and that wife they are bad so let us get you busted first of all a Christian woman she can talk to men and talking to men does not make her a bad person but let us see what kind of talk Muslim women they do and by the way we will go and talk about what he speak about the satanic verses but we will start one by one about what he said in the video as long you are upset from a woman she called me just to translate for us she did not say anything wrong she did not use a bad language and she is speaking to me not in a private room alone in public and thousands of people are listening and that will make her a bad woman for you look what your private wife she do Oh boy. The prophet wife, she is calling Christian Prince life on air, and she is saying, One of the wives of Allah Messenger has joined him in Itikaf, the time of the prayer, and she noticed a blood yellowish discharge coming from her beep. And she put a dish under her when she was she prayed. So you are upset. And you are saying that this woman, she is not a good woman because she called me to translate it from English to German. But you are not upset that your mother of the believer telling us what happened between her legs and the dish she put underneath of her. And now 1.6 billion Muslims, as you claim the number, they are reading this. Well, nice to meet you, Aisha. I'm really glad. Imagine if we have CNN and the Twitter in the time of Aisha. Aisha, she just made a tweet. I saw one of the wives of the prophet. She is dropping and leaking liquid. Oops, look, look, look. The liquid is blood. Oh, oh no, hold on. It's a yellowish discharge coming from her peep vagina. Hold, hold on, hold on. She put a dish under her legs and now she is leaking. That did not make you upset. And a woman, she called me to translate made her bad forget about this one I mean this one is nothing seriously 
This is this is nothing, huh? What about what about Aisha ordering her sisters to do breastfeeding for adult, giving their breast and their boobs so they can suckle from it, so men they might enter upon her. Hmm? Aisha Ummul Mu'mineen took that any man who want to enter upon her, he have to suckle from the daughters of her brother. Aisha she hired her sister Ummu Kathum and uh, 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 and the daughter of, of her sister that anyone want to meet Aisha he have to do breastfeeding for adult because the Prophet of Islam he ordered a woman to do breastfeeding for adult. So the women who translate from English to German is not good for you, but Muslim women, a prophet of God, he ordered Muslim women to give their breast and to be suckled is not good for you. And by the way, you might say that this hadith is not sahih. Shall I get you busted, Abdul? Hmm? This is a Muslim fatwa website. Fatwa number. One five eight two seven nine. What is the correction? What is the authentic about the story that Aisha she do give breastfeeding for adult? And she, if she want any man of any of the men to enter upon her, she order her sister and the daughter of her sister to suckle the men so they can enter upon her. So, what is the question? Is it true? That Aisha, if she liked to meet with some men, she ordered them to suckle from the breast of her sister or the daughters of her sister so they can meet her. Answer. This is coming from Sahih al-Bukhari about a woman. Her name is Sahel ibn Tusuhail. I will show it to you in English. And here he said, this is the story, yes, that the wife of the prophet, Aisha, she used to order her sister to do breastfeeding, suckling to anyone want to enter upon her. And this is Sahih. This is what? This is Sahih. Let me see if I can go to Google Translation. Google Translation, brother. Sie befahl ihrer Schwester UMM Kultum, der Tochter von Abu Bakr al-Siddiq und den Töchtern ihres Bruders ihre Angehörigen zu stillen, um die Männer und die anderen Frauen des Propheten, den Frieden und Segen Allahs auf ihm zu betreten. Suhail bin Suhail ist nur eine Lizenz des Gesandten Allahs. Der Friede sei mit ihm allein in der Brust von Salem und Gott tritt uns nicht in dieser stillenden Welt ein, so dass die Ehepartner des Propheten mit ihm stillen. Es wurde von Ibn Hiban und Ibn Hesm erzählt. Abu Umar Ibn Abil Ber sagte, dies ist ein Hadith, der in Al-Musnad kommt. Um Urwa und Esche und alle Frauen des Propheten Frieden und Segen Allahs sein auf ihm zu treffen. Is it done? I think it's done. Hey guys, I have to go because I want to meet with Aisha and I have to suckle ten times the breast of the of the nieces of Aisha. Sorry, guys, I'm busy. So this idiot, he is worried that a woman she call me speaking in respect in public. Translating it from English to German, saying how a man allow his wife to do that, and he have no problem that Muslim women they are giving their boobs, boing boing boing, and we men we suckle them so we can see another woman. That's amazing. That's so beautiful, brother. That is so beautiful. And as you see, the hadith is sahih. What, what, what? It is Sahih. And here's the long link. 
Okay. The same hadith appear in the Sahih Al Bukhari, which is speaking about Sahla bin, Su bin Suhail. But in this one here, is given us details that Aisha she practiced that, which I really, really lovely. I like that. Now, let us continue, guys. Don't forget to invite your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this account. Now, the the stupidity of those who attack us and they you know they are they are so silly to the point they say how a woman she call life brother brother a woman she call life and the husband allowed her to talk to christian prince brother what kind of a man this man is brother what kind of a woman this woman brother what what's wrong with she did Shall I show you your private wife taking shower in front of her brother and other guy? What I shall show you, Abdul. Look how silly they are. You see, the Muslim they speak too much about dignity. And he says to me, and as long as you mention that I said the word idiot, you said to me, is that the Holy Spirit? Oh, let me ask you, is that the Holy Spirit in this hadith here? It says that the prophet, he used to curse and he used to say bad words to Muslims. And he claimed that anyone, he cursed him, anyone, he insult him, anyone, he say the F word to him. It's a blessing from Allah. The messenger of Allah. What he do? Chapter. Whomever is cursed, revealed, or prayed against by the Prophet S A W Mercedes Benz, when he does not deserve it, that will be a purification. Guys, does it say when he does not deserve it? Does it say here when he does not deserve it? What does that mean? It's mean Muhammad. He is a bad person. He is insulting people, calling them bad names cursing them saying the f word to them and we will prove by the way about about speaking dirty language people who don't deserve it and now muhammad because people they start talking about how filthy he is he claimed it's okay it's okay you know what i ask allah i put a condition on my god you would what I made a condition on Allah. Have you ever heard of a person, a human being, he put a condition in his God, saying to his God, I made a condition, read with me. Allah Messenger, good reach everyone, but it would not reach these two. You know, he was insulting two men and he was beating them. He was beating them. What they did? Why you are invoking curse on them? And look what Muhammad he said. He said, "Don't you know that I have made a condition with my Allah? Thus, O oh Allah, I am a human being, and that for a Muslim upon whom I invoke curse." Or I heard medication. It's a source of a purity and reward. So if Muhammad he beat you, Allah reward you. If Muhammad he curse you, Allah reward you. And this is Sahih Muslim hadith number two six zero zero A, as you see in the screen. What kind of God this God is? In different hadith has given us more details actually we can show you different hadith you know let us see what kind of a prophet is this prophet so he is you're upset from me saying an idiot the word idiot is a problem for you you are a very key sensitive my brother 
You are very sensitive. And the prophet of God, he is putting condition on his prophet or the prophet, sorry, putting condition on his God. Saying, saying that anyone he I, I humiliate him, I, I I I curse him, I insult him without any reason. It's not even fair, as you see in the hadith, all those hadith. It's not even fair. Now we continue. Did we finish or we continue with some more? Oh, as long as you are talking about dignity, let's show you more dignity before we finish. I mean, why are we going to finish first? I mean, we have time. What about your prophet saying that if someone is proud about his religion, sorry, about his uh, uh, heritage, which means his family before Islam, tell him, go and bite the penis of your father. And look how the Muslims, they translate the hadith. They say if someone cancel people in the way people cancel each other in the day of jahiliya then bite him what you muslims bite people if they don't agree with you Arr. look how they are lying fabricating the translation in arabic it says wa aidu fa aidu which mean Tell him to buy the penis of your father. And as you see, by the way, I'm so glad that you mentioned that you like Al Alabani. Oof, man, that's a good choice, Al Alabani. Soon you will see that this guy will say Al Alabani is a scumbag. In his video, he was showing us the book of Alabani to prove me wrong. Let us go there. Let us see where he posted Al Alabani. Hold on. Alabani, Alabani, Alabani. Yeah, and he said I was hiding the page, my friend. You can go watch the video and everybody will see who is the one is hiding the page, you idiot. I was showing people that here we go. He he showed Al Alabani. Here we go. Uh is that Al Alabani? No, hold on. Let us see. Where is Al Alabani? Where is the book of? Here we go. Nasbul Manajiq li Nasfi Qissa al Gharaniq. Muhammad Nasir al Din al Alabani. Now, as long you are accepting Al Alabani for you as a reference, man, I am so thankful for you. Finally, you help us to get your prophet busted. As you see, the hadith here in the front of us is made by Alabani. But guess what? What about you saying to me before, as they told me, that I am lying about your prophet, killing an innocent man because of jealousy? You said I am lying. And guess what? Your potato al Alabani, he said, This is Sahih Hadith. Now you will say Al Alabani is a scumbag. Now you will say Al Alabani is a liar. Let us open Al Alabani. Al Silsila Sahih Al Alabani. The name of the book, Al Silsila Al Sahih, the Sahih chain. The writer. Muhammad Nasir al-Din al-Alabani, the publisher, the library of Al-Ma'arif, Reda, Saudi Arabia, volume number seven, hadith number 2495, Sahih. What the heck? So all this time you are accusing Christian Prince that he was lying about your prophet Killing an innocent man just because he is a jealous man, it turned to be Sahih. And who is the one saying that? Is the same guy you like him in the video, Al Alabani. I like you, Alabani. Thank you, Alabani. I really, 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 I like you. <laughs> now, hold on. We are not done. We are going to copy. 
I don't speak German as you know, but it's okay. Google will do some work for us. I have no idea what Google will say in in the in the uh, uh, in the in the German language. I have no idea. But as you see here from the top, he himself he said this is Sahih. I will copy the story hmm, about killing this man, and we will copy it in two parts: the one about killing the man, and then the rest of it about the prophet making a comment. So, this is the story from here to here. And then I will copy again. You know what? Uh, I will copy it all because he might say he is hiding it. <laughs> you know them. <laughs> you know them. <laughs> see, brother? See, brother? He did not copy it all, brother. Do you know why, brother? Mm, no, I did. Here we go. It's in the front of you. This is the whole story in the front of you. It's exceed the 3900 charger. Okay, so like we, we have to cut it pieces. Okay, let us do this then. <coughs> See, we have no choice. Look like Google, don't translate if it's exceed a certain number of letters. Okay, let's try until the end of the story here. Okay, this is the end of the story. And here is the translation. Da -da -da. Brother, brother, please, brother, read with me, brother. I hope you will enjoy it, brother. Sound, audio, Google translation, which is not going to be good, but I mean, it's going to do the job. Let us see. 2495 war, was ich what, what? Does it say Sahih? Guys, is that that word here in the beginning means Sahih? Somebody tell me in the text, please. Is this word here next to the number? Does it mean Sahih? Correct? In German? Who speaks German there? Does it say it? See, see? it's Sahih. 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 On Sahih. On Sahih. On Sahih. Sahih. On Sahih. On Sahih. They were calling me names. Speaking about me, Christian Prince, the big fat liar. He said the prophet. He killed the man. We could not find it in Sahih Bukhari. You idiot. This is not in Sahih Bukhari. This is in the interpretation of Sahih Bukhari. Idiot donkey. If I say to you there, Sahih Bukhari, this is the interpretation. Have you ever heard of the book which was mentioned there? There? But certified donkey is what I can say. Now read with me. It is Sahih. Sahih what? The story is Sahih. What is the story? Listen carefully. 2495 war, was ich selbst, wenn du ihn getötet hast, war die erste Aufhebung und die letzte. Imam Ahmad sagte, der Prophet Allahs, Allahs Frieden und Segen seien auf ihm, sei an einem Mann vorbeigegangen, der sich niederwerfe und zu beten anfing. Dann rezitierte er das Gebet und kehrte zu ihm zurück, als er sich niedergeworfen hatte. Der Prophet, Allahs Segen sei auf ihm, sagte, dann stand ein Mann auf und schüttelte seine Hände, er setzte sein Schwert und schüttelte es. Dann sagte er, O oh Prophet Gottes, mein Vater, du und meine Mutter, wie töte ich eine Prostituierte, die bestätigt, dass es keinen Gott außer Allah gibt und dass Mohammed sein Sklave und sein Gesandter ist. Dann sagte er, wer tötet das? Dann stand ein Mann auf und sagte, ich bringe von seinen Armen, ich schneide sein Schwert und schüttelte ihn, bis ich seine Hand schüttelte. Er sagte, O Prophet Gottes, wie kann ich eine Prostituierte töten, die bezeugt, dass es keinen Gott außer Allah gibt und dass Mohammed sein Sklave und sein Gesandter ist? Der Prophet, Allahs Frieden und Segen seien sie auf ihm, sagte, und sein Recht ist in Bezug auf die Bedingung von Muslimen richtig. Oh boy. By the way, did you notice that my, English, my German is, uh, is getting better? But I don't know why my voice turned to be a female voice. Ah, because I am the same as the Prophet who would make up three times a day. God forbid. A Prophet who be like a woman with makeup eyeliner three times a day he got his 
Quran wearing his wife clothes he is ordering um, his men to kill a man just because he's praying so much he's a very good man the Muslims they praise him he's a wonderful man do you see it Abdul hold on I'm going to post the hadith so the Muslim will not say he is fabricating the story here we go hmm. this is the link who won the link who won the link who won the link who won the link of the prophet wearing pink oh ah uh, you remind me of a hadith about your prophet he liked to wear pink he liked to wear women clothes I mean the guy he was insulted because a woman she called me in public translating from English to German but he is not worried about his prophet wearing women clothing. Hmm. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. And guess what? The hadith saying that the prophet was wearing his wife clothes is accepted by your friend Al Alabani. <laughs> oh boy Oof. man so what 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 Saadu ibn etc reported that Uthman and Aisha told him that Abu Bakr asked for permission to come to the message of Allah may Allah bless him and grant him peace while he was laying off Aisha bed wearing Aisha wailing shirt A man who wear women clothing and by the way I show you the reference before where it says Marut is only clothed for women Martu Aisha or Mirtu Aisha the Mirt is only women clothing now is this hadith Sahih yes Yes, and who is the one who said Al Alabani? Da -da -da. <laughs> now, this guy he will go after the Alabani to shoot him, but too bad he's dead now. What you will do now? You want to prove me wrong using Al Alabani? Hello, hello, brother. Hey, Amir, how are you? Are you having fun? How are you? Well, I have very, very much fun. I'm sitting here in my car driving and listening to you. <laughs> you see, <laughs> I'm being nice to them, but I mean, look at the stupid. I mean, they are they're trying to I prove you wrong I from mean, Alabani. And look what Alabani kid. says. He's a kid, brother. What, what do you want from a kid? Yeah, but he it's okay. He didn't know anything about this religion. When he knows anything about this religion, he left his religion today. Not tomorrow. Today he left his He will leave his religion. Yeah, but now because so but, much filth. But now what he will say? He so will say much. he will say Al Alabani is a scumbag. He will not talk about <laughs> Al Alabani no more, right? So now, now we found now we found no, the story. How many Amir? How many times they said to you that the story I said about killing an innocent person is a lie? How many times? And as long One they accept as, as long they accept Al Alabani to prove a point, and he he, brother, al he brother, always he, used with him. He makes he, brother. He makes videos and say you are a liar. This this story is fake. Uh, no one says this is uh, Sahih and and you know exactly the same. <laughs> my my daughter is la laughing exactly the same. Even your daughter is laughing. Huh? Okay, just just yeah, dri dri my daughter is laughing at him. My friend, drive drive safe, and I will continue. Uh, no, I'm here parking. You know, I never. Um, oh, okay. Uh, talk to you like when when I am driving. I'm here parking. And, okay, uh, call me call them. me later because I wanna I wanna finish the uh, the, the <laughs> reference because we have long way to go. We're not done yet. We just start the spanking. Let, you know? let me let me let me say something in German for the German All people. Right. Okay, right. ich sage euch heute, wenn ihr die Stimme des Herrn Jesus Christus hört, geht auf die Knie, bereut eure Schuld und werdet von neuem geboren. Mohammed war ein falscher Prophet und der Islam ist die größte Lüge der Menschheitsgeschichte. And brother Christian Prince and love this religion names Islam. Amen. I mean, I, let me translate for you what he said in English. Uh, he was saying the prophet is a joke and he will laugh at him when you listen to Christian Prince and you will leave Islam. Is that correct? So, in, in, 
in this way. Okay, so I you, said, no, down it, your well, if you don't Jesus. believe that this is the correct translation, I can show you Alabani. Yes, Alabani, translate what you just said to me. I can show you that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my friend, th thank you, thank you. Brother, right? I call you later. Okay? All right, okay, take care, bye bye. Okay, bye bye, take care, bye bye. Tell your friends to uh, share share the link with your friends. Share the link, Amir, with your friends so they can join us and they can love. Now let us continue. Step by step, the prophet wearing his wife's shirt. What shirt, you liar? This is not a shirt. This is a dress. This is a certified dress. Let us show you. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. شرح الزرقاني على موطأ الإمام مالك. And look at the picture, how beautiful it is. We go down here, and it says, it gives us definition what the word مرض mean. The word مرض is a clothes of women only. Let us see. Mirt is the word. Here he is explaining to us what the word mirt is. Read carefully. He said, Wakala ibn al Athir, La yakun al mirtu illa dura wa huwa khazun akhdar, wala yusamma al mirtu illa al akhdar, wala yalbisuhu illa al nisa. Translation to German. I don't know what it's going to say in Google. You tell me. It says in Arabic that nothing is called mirt unless it is a clothes of women. It's a green fabric. Only women wear it. Does it say that? IBN al sagte, die Plane ist nur ein Schild, das aus grünem Stein gut besteht und nur grün heißt und nur von Frauen getragen wird. Oh oh. Oh oh. Oh oh. So the mirt, which Muhammad was wearing, the clothes of Aisha, which we show you in the English Hadith, it is only women clothing. Oh oh. It's not my fault. Please don't kill me, brother. Brother. Huh? Hmm? Okay. Now, let us continue to something more important. Forget about Muhammad killing the innocent man, and we show you that this is Sahih, etc. No problem. Uh, we go to something more and more useful. Forget about the private part of the wife of Muhammad. By the way, when here it says, by the way, that she noticed that the wife of the prophet she have a blood and yellowish discharge do you know what does that mean any of you have uh, I, for me i do not know really what does that mean but i've been taught by a doctor that this is mean that this woman she have an infection in her vagina now is that true because it says here you know first time i did read it i did not know really what what because i don't know what women they have when they have their period you know so uh, uh, when I read that, a doctor, he told me, uh, uh, I remember once he called me and he said, well, obviously she have an infection because women of blood should not be yellowish unless she have a bad infection. Mostly she have an STD. She have a sexual transmission disease. So I don't know. I am a doctor. And just to be honest with you, I, you know, I know all kinds of science except those things. <laughs> Let it go, let it go, let it go. Sahil Bukhari, let it go, let it go. Merry Christmas, Muslims. All right. Let us continue. Now we go to the story of Al Gharaniq. Me? Oh, hold on, hold on. Before we go to Al Gharaniq, as long you are upset from a woman calling me and you said she is not being good and how her husband allowed her to call me live on air, how? I mean, brother, how your prophet he allow you to share bed with women? She is not going with you except for sex. And look at the false Muslim translation in Arabic. It says, 
And by the way, he claimed that he speak Arabic. The funny he don't. His Arabic is the same like somebody. His tongue was, you know, somebody closed the door in his tongue, and like his English, like my Chinese. Ching ho he ho. Now, أيما رجلا وامرأة توافقا فعشرة ما بينهما ثلاث ليال فإن أحبا أن يتزايدا أو يتتاركا يتتاركا. In Arabic it says, hold on, I'm going to take it in Arabic as it is just to show you how they fabricate and they lie in the translation. Ta -ta 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 Prophet Google, Google. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Copy paste. All right. Why is that translating? What detected? What Sidihi? What Sidihi? Arabic, buddy, Arabic. This is Arabic. All right. Let us see what the German is saying. Takbir. The, that is amazing prophet any man any women they want to have linda bing bong bong together three days three night go have fun and if you like to enjoy more extend jeder mann und jede frau sind sich dreimal drei nächte einig sie wollen taka erhöhen oder verlassen verlassen what verlassen mean shame on you don't say verlassen show respect please <laughs> verlassen you say verlassen in my present how dare you? How dare you, Falasim? Mrs. Falasim. So as you see, this is a crazy, stupid religion. They speak about dignity and their prophet is allowing them to have sex around and they call it muta. And then this guy, he will say to us, yes, the muta was allowed, but the prophet forbid it later. My friend, your prophet forbid it. And he allow it. And he forbid it. And he allow it. <laughs> And he forbid it. <laughs> and this is a proof that your prophet is possessed by the shaitan. Because what kind of a prophet he allowed women and men to have open sex relationship? Hmm? If your prophet is not possessed by shaitan. Look what this hadith is saying, and this is Sahih. This is what? This is Sahih. Ta 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 ta. Chapter of muta marriage. This is Quran. This is not even hadith. Chapter muta marriage. This is a chapter four, verse number twenty-four in the Quran. It was a permitted, then abrogated, then permitted, then abrogated, then. <laughs> I forbid you, I don't forbid you, I forbid you, I don't forbid you, I forbid you, I don't forbid you, I am possessed by shaitan. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you an idiot Muhammad. I forbid it now. I forbid it, then I approve it, then I forbid it, then I approve it. Let us see what happened. Did Muhammad really forbid it? No. Read correctly with me. It says here. And as you see, this is Sahih Muslim hadith number 1405. 1405. Ati reported from Jabir, from Abdullah, from, 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 from. Okay, I don't want to spend more gas, he said. And then that the people ask about different things. People ask him about different things. And then they made a mention of the temporary marriage what temporary marriage the sexual muta joy sexual joy whereupon he said yes yes we had benefiting benefiting is that a benefit yes they call it a, a, a friend with benefit <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Benefited. What we benefited? Benefited from having sex around? We benefited ourselves by the temporary sexual relationship during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the time of Abu Bakr. And during the time of Omar, that's mean Muslims are practicing muta long after Muhammad's death. 
and Abu Bakr and Omar they allow it how you say that the Prophet forbid it in his lifetime and as you see this is Sahih Hadith do you see it let us continue benefit is sex this is about sex you know you you hire a woman for five minutes you tell her I wanna if each other and then she agree you agree about the timing about the money you go for it let us continue <clears throat> by the way if a brother Ramadan he dare to call me my Skype is open please 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 be a man be a man once in your lifetime actually even in his video he don't even dare to allow comment this guy is terrified of a comment now hold on in the info of his video he posed for us the website of Saudi Arabia to show us the reference <laughs> oh man I wish you a Merry Christmas I wish <laughs> Abdul I am the one who will open I don't know your your link is not opening correctly I see nothing here <coughs> but anyway let us go here on love <coughs> It doesn't take us to the verse right away. Let us do this. You guys, don't text me unless it's necessarily, please. We want Muslims to call us. Please. All right? Please. Should I say please or please? All right. Okay. Here we go. This is better. Don't text me, please, guys. Don't text me. Why people are texting me? Don't text me. My Skype is not for people to text me and say hi and etc. Only for important things to call me and not even to text. And right now, we want only Muslims who they are from Germany to call us specifically, especially Brother Ramazan. Please, brother Ramazan, please, please, please. If you are a decent man, people, we are life. Don't text me. I don't know what to do. Did I block everybody in my Skype? I have a topic and now you are telling me telling me about Muhammad racism don't you see we have a topic I mean, what's wrong I will change the topic just for you educate me about racism anyway now this Abdul he said that I did hide the page of Ibn Kathir, the fact this is a big fat liar, I read it all of it. You can go and watch my video. He said, I showed the banner, but I did not show the rest. And look what he did read for us. By the way, should I play the way you read Arabic for everybody so we can laugh for like for fun? Let me teach you how to read Arabic, my friend. ظنا منهم أن مشركي قريش قد أسلموا ولكنها من طرق كلها مرسلة ولم أراها مسندا من وجه صحيح والله أعلم translation تردد 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 you see if you remember I went to the English website to show them what the translation saying I will show you the in the the German Google the same we did with everything and we will go to the uh, to the to the English one copy ta -ta 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 -ta. Google prophet Google peace upon him German German viele der Kommentatoren erwähnten hier die Geschichte von Oma und es war nicht die Rückkehr vieler Einwanderer in das Land Abessinien weil sie glaubten I am dass sie Quraysh Quraysh zum Islam konvertiert waren Aber alle sind gesandt und ich habe sie nicht von einem wahren Gesicht zugeteilt gesehen und Gott weiß es am besten. Da -da 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 -da. He was talking about the story of Quraysh 
people from Quraysh they are coming back and he said I found it that this is Mursala and I did not find it that it is really uh, 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 have uh, authentic uh, let us say reference but guess what Mursal in Islam is accepted this is their book Mursal Hadith it is it's explain what is Mursal Hadith. I will post the link for you guys so you can. And this is the University of uh, I don't know what the name in Pakistan. Takbir, Pakistan. Okay. The second you say Pakistan, say Takbir, brother. Those are the terrorists. Allahu Akbar. Now, if we go to page number twenty-four, it show us that Muslims accept Mursal Hadith. Tiki 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 tiki. Okay. <laughs> And those are Sunni, not Shia, brother, not Shia, ruling of Mursal Hadith. It has been a great deal of discussion among the scholars regarding the authenticity of the Mursal Hadith, etc., etc. Let us go to the summary. However, 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 however. All right. Here you will see they are describing to you what Mursal. Mursal simply is something reported by a companion but not to Muhammad a companion of a companion which mean if I heard Omar saying but I did not hear myself Muhammad saying that will make me heard from a companion and me myself they call me uh, you know like a, 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 a tabi'i like I, I, I am a second generation let us say but look what happened here the opinion held by Imam Malik and the Maliki that the Mursal of a trustworthy person is valid as a proof it's not rejected even if it's more it is Mursal so he tried to say to us that Ibn Kathir he said this is Mursal it's rejected but as you see the Muslim Sunni they have four Islamic sect and this is one of them Al Maliki so the Maliki they accept all right and then you will see and we will show you later why the Muslims accept this hadith all of them and when we talk about all of them we are talking about the big 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 names of a scholarship you know the more we get closer to the date we are now the more the Muslims try to defend and this is what Al-Albani was trying to do. But as you see, Al-Albani, he got his prophet busted in many ways. And actually from his book, I will get him busted. Imam Hanafi hold the same opinion as Malik. He accept the Mursal Hadith. Do you see it? So now we have two Islamic Sunni sect accept the Hadith, which is Mursal. Imam al-Shafi'i, he discuss issue in details in his Risala and here he give more details the argument of the Shia uh, sorry of, of Shafi'i that they accept the Mursal Hadith of certain let us say names they accept it it doesn't matter what it is unless the person is proven to be a liar then they reject him so it is a Mursal or not, it doesn't make any difference. So now we have a three Islamic sect that accept the Mursal. Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, this is the fourth Islamic sect he accept. Mursal. And even other da'if, weak hadith, if nothing opposing them. Do you see it? Even if it is da'if, brother, he accept it. Now, as long as this guy he mentioned for us in his book, Al Alabani, guess what? We are going to go to the book of Al Alabani. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. <coughs> Let us close some browser. In Ibn Kathir page, you will see Ibn Kathir, he reported a story from a guy, his name 
ابن أبي حاتم قال قال ابن أبي حاتم حدثنا يونس بن حبيب حدثنا أبو داود حدثنا شعبة عن أبي بشر عن سعيد بن جبير قال قرأ رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم النجم فلما بلغ هذا الموضع فأريت أرأيت اللات والعزة ومنات الثلاث الأخرى فقال فألقى الشيطان على لسانه تلك الغرانيق العلا إن شفاعتهن ترتجى قالوا ما ذكر آلهتنا بخير قبل اليوم فسجد وسجدوا وأنزل فأنزل الله عز وجل هذه الآية وما أرسلنا من قبلك من رسول إلا ولا نبي إلا إذا تمنى ألقى الشيطان في أمنيته فينسخ الله ما يلقي الشيطان ثم يحكم الله آياته right. Look what Ibn Kathir he says Ibn Kathir, he said that this hadith is Mursal. That's it. But we showed you that the four Islamic sect accept the Mursal. Now, how we can prove that this hadith is accepted by scholars as Sahih? Guess what we, what we will do? We will go to the book, which is Brother Zamazan. He like the book of Al Al the same book which is made to fight the humiliation of the Prophet, exposing him to be a satanic man, is the same book will prove that this hadith, which is named by uh, 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 Abni Kathir as Mursal. <clears throat> as you see, he did not even say that this is Da'if, he said this is Mursal. But we showed you that Mursal is accepted. Now, if we go to the book of Al-Alabani and we search for the story, <coughs> which is here. قال ابن أبي حاتم Okay, where is the website of Al-Alabani? Here we go, I think this one. <coughs> The website is taking forever to open. Come on. Brother Ramadan is waiting, brother. Here we go. Are you going to make Brother Ramadan wait, brother? Are you kidding me? Do you know the consequence of making Ramadan wait? We will show you how many times the story of Ibn Hatim reported from many reporters <sighs> read with me carefully akhrajuhu ibn jurayr Seventeen one hundred twenty two. min tariqain an muammar anhu wa huwa sahih What is Sahih? Let us copy and translate the brother. A brother, please let us copy and translate the brother. <laughs> Prophet Google translation, please. Can you translate for us, please? This. Oh, it's exceed the limit again. Okay, let us copy it at two parts. Okay. <clears throat> and this is why, you know, when when I showed in English, by the way, the English Ibn Kathir, we don't see this story. All those in Ibn Kathir in, Ar in Arabic, they are showing, but in English, it doesn't show. And this is a proving that Islamic books are nothing but a corruption. We will go to the, uh, to the, uh, to the uh, English translation to show you how they lie when they translate. That's why we cannot trust Muslim when they translate. But let us let us try let us hear. <clears throat> uh, again, again, Ibn Kathir he says that this hadith is sahih, but it is mursal. Well, who cares? It is sahih. Huh? What happened? Oops, Google Translate did not respond. Please do what? Okay, let's do it again. Mm -hmm. 
Let's try again. Fünfes wurde erzählt, dass Gotada sagte, dass der Prophet der Friede und Segen Allahs sei auf ihm betete. Dass Gott die Götter der Polytheisten nicht beleidigt und den Teufel in seinen Wunsch geworfen habe. Eins, bis er Sultan, der Stern, erreicht hatte. Katada sagte, als der Teufel das warf. Was er von den Polytheisten warf, sagte er, Gott hat ihre Götter schön erwähnt und sich gefreut, also sagte er die Worte, um zu machen, was der Satan für die Menschen in ihrem Herzen macht. Erzählt von IBN Jahre 1722. Aus zwei Wegen von Muama und Hoshi, die nach Katada korrekt sind, aber gesendet oder verstümmelt. Oh boy. Does it say it's Sahih? Okay, does it say in English it's Sahih? Does it say, I mean in German, does it say the word Sahih? Again, he say it is Sahih, but it is Mursal. But we showed you that Mursal is accepted. So it's Sahih. And who is the one reporting those stories? It's not a Christian prince. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Al Alabani. And this is your scholars reporting the story. Doesn't show the word Sahih? No, it should show the word Sahih. The word Sahih is should be. Uh, <clears throat> Is that coming as Sahih? Says commit. Okay, correct. No problem. This is Google translation, as you see. I mean, what I can do? You see, I'm using Google translation because what I would do, I know I don't speak German. What I would do, I mean, that's what we have. I know that Google translation will not really be that much accurate, but it's useful. Now we go. And those who knows how to read the word Sahih, here we go. This is the word Sahih. Actually, let, let me copy it. Hmm? I will copy it and I will change the translation from. Uh, <clears throat> I will take the German off. But let us do it in English, actually. Let us do it in English. Hold on. English. We go back to German later. Okay. <clears throat> do you see it? It's a correct. Yeah, even here it's coming translation as correct, which means Sahih. Sahih is a correct. Sahih as a word being correct. That's it. This is a correct. You know? And then Ibn Kathir he said, but it is Mursal. Who care? We showed you that the Mursal hadith is accepted from all the four Islamic sect. Now we continue. Uh, <coughs> Again, this is. This is the book of who? This is the book of Al Alabani. Ana Yabani. Badunyani. Amil Hali Mani Fahmani. All right. <clears throat> uh, if we continue reading, <clears throat> we will find. It says the following. <clears throat> Let us show you more. عن قتادة أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم you know actually we you know this is 22 yeah this is page number 22 and 23 all right so we already we show that it says here it is صحيح and then we go to 126 <coughs> all right here in the 26 you will see the following story which we cannot find in the english trans actually all of the trans the, all those stories we cannot find in the english uh, page 
that he, uh, Muhammad he praised the three daughters of Allah and then the angel he came to him and the angel said to him I did not give you this where you got this from it's not me who gave it to you uh, etc all right and here you will notice with me it says hatta idha balagha akhir sura sajada wa sajada ashabahu wal mushrikun and then after that Jibreel came to him and he said to him I seek refuge by Allah if it is me who would give you that which means I'm not the one who gave you that so Muhammad he did not notice even that he was speaking for shaitan and the Muslim they say to us nobody can make Quran like Allah so how Muhammad did not notice that this is shaitan is speaking and he is giving him Quran the whole story is a fabrication by Muhammad he was being a hypocrite to the disbelievers trying to make him accept him as a prophet Muhammad in front of the Jews he is a Jew in front of the Christian is a Christian in front of the, the pagan Arab he's a pagan in the front of the Muslims is a Muslim even if the last surah came prostrate oh, hold on work this is the English one let us go to the well let us go with the English first no problem as long as there's people even if the last surah came prostrating and worshipped his companions and worshipped the polytheists to mention their gods when he raised his head and carried him vs tddoa macri mecca say the prophet of Ani Manaf, even if Gabriel came to offer him, read these two letters, Jibril. God forbid that I read this V A H S T D him V N Z L. God likes himself. All right. So what here has happened that Jibril came to him after he received those verses, and he said to him, "I did not give you that." Now let us continue. Let's show it in German. Selbst wenn die letzte Sura niederstieß und ihre Gefährten anbetete und die Polytheisten anbetete, um ihre Götter zu erwähnen, wenn er den Kopf hob und ihn trug, sagte VST Doa Makri Mekka. Der Prophet von Bani ABD Mann auf, selbst wenn Gabriel ihm anbot, las diese beiden Briefe Shibriel. All right. Now, if we try to find this story, let us try to find this story in Ibn Kathir itself in Arabic and see how it looked like in English. Just to show you why I say we cannot accept Muslims translating anything for us because they lie. The whole story in English is gone. We cannot find it in English. We cannot find all those stories in the front of us. Not even one of them. In the English translation, it disappear. But in the Arabic the Arabic text, the Arabic book, it says that exactly as it is. So in Arabic we can find it, but in English we cannot find it. And here you will notice the Muslims, they are trying to hide what is written in Arabic for those who they are reading in English. Let us go to the Saudi website. If we if we look for the the verses here, <clears throat> let's see the Gharaniq, the story itself here. When Muhammad waqala qutada, that when the Prophet he recite uh, uh, that chapter. He became asleep. Is nice. The prophet was reciting Quran and people in the mosque and people <laughs> people around him and he sleep and he sleep standing. This is a true story. So Shaitan he throw on his tongue in the Okay. If I want to find all those stories in the English version of Ibn Kathir, where we can find it, let us see. Maybe I will get lucky. This is Ibn Kathir. I will show you the whole page. <clears throat> Chapter 22, verse number 52. Where in the story we see the three daughters of Allah in the holy story? Anybody see it? Where is the three daughters? Where is Allah al-Uzza? 
you see I'm going slow so if you can see it if you saw it please uh, 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 tell me where I'm going slow in the page the stories is gone all the stories about Muhammad reciting the satanic verses in the English translation is not there I cannot find it what happened and this is what those Muslims they try to do they are not trying to explain what happened they are trying to defend what happened that their prophet no way is a satanic man but guess what Muhammad he admit that he received command from the devil <clears throat> Muhammad he admit he confess that he receive satanic verses how that happened this is the book of Adurul Manthur speaking about the same thing uh, uh, what his name uh, Alabani he mentioned about the hadith of Ibn Juraj and he say clearly that this is Sahih this is what Sahih let me show you the same exactly read carefully with me please actually let us go up first here وأخرج ابن جريج وابن منذر وابن أبي حاتم بسند صحيح by a صحيح authentic narration that in the page number five two six from سعيد بن جبير قال when the when the when the messenger he did read the chapter of an najm in Mecca <clears throat> and when he arrived to where it says do you see a lad and al uzza wa manat the third in the chapter of an najm the shaitan he throw in his tongue those are the three daughters of Allah al gharaniq the flying daughters of Allah their intercession is a must they said ما ذكر آلهتنا بخير قبل اليوم فسجد وسجدوا ثم جاء جبريل بعد ذلك so he bowed down and they bowed down with him and after that Jibreel he came and he said to him لم آتك بهذا هذا من الشيطان I did not give you this this is from شيطان and then Allah he gave him the verse says never we send the messenger before you messenger or a prophet before you which is very stupid to say because messenger is the same as a prophet except every one of them shaitan he throw in his tongue now listen carefully here with me the story here is reported as sahih but this is the same story we see it in ibn kathir if we go back to ibn kathir we will see the following <clears throat> where is ibn kathir Okay. Let us try to find the exact same story. You will see here. That the one who abrogated the verse is not even Allah. It was Jibreel. وقال الضحاك نسخ جبريل بأمر من الله ما ألقى الشيطان وأحكم الله آياته. The one who deleted those verses is Jibreel, not Allah, by the order of Allah. Now, if we go to the English translation, we cannot find any of those stories. But let us do something. Just to show you, we don't make things up. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. 
I will switch to English. And we will go back to Arabic, don't worry. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. <clears throat> al Jalalain, he reported the story how Muhammad he recited the three names of the daughters of Allah and he said their intercession is needed or a must. It says, but that when he recited the scripture, Shaitan cast into his recitation what is not from the Quran, but which those who, who, uh, to whom he, the prophet, had sent would find pleasing. Do you see it? The prophet had during an assembly of men and Quraysh, uh, of Quraysh reciting the following verses from Surat an Najm. Have you considered Allah and Al Uzza and Manad, the third one? And this is the chapter of An Najm, as you see. He added as a result of Shaitan casting in his tongue, his tongue, without the prophet being aware of it, the following words. Those who they are, those those are the high flying crans, Al Gharaniq, Al Ula, the high. And indeed, their intercession is to be hoped for. Is a Jalalain a liar? Obviously, he is. Because if the Muslims are saying this is what happened, obviously, a Jalalain is a scumbag. And Al Alabani is a scumbag. And Ibn Kathir is a scumbag. Because even Ibn Kathir confirmed that. Yes, Shaitan, he throw in his mouth. Because he is saying to us that this hadith is Mursal, and we show you that Mursal hadith is accepted. It is not rejected by all the four Islamic sect. And as you see, we showed you how many times it says that this hadith is Sahih. Now, there's a book, it's called the Book of Asbab al Nuzul. What does Asbab al Nuzul mean? The reason for the verses to come down this book explained to you what is beyond behind the screen like what happened somebody said something in the Quran but the Quran really is not clear so here this is a book made to study what is behind what is the reason for those verses to come here you will see again they are repeating the same story are they saying that this story is a lie read carefully it doesn't say that never we send a messenger or a prophet before thee the communicator of the Quran said when the message of the communicator of the Quran the commentator of the Quran who is the one saying that those who they are the scholars not me not Christian Prince the Muslims they go in denial when they see and they hear the truth it, it hurt their prophet is a satanic prophet but hold on not only the scholars they say that Muhammad is a satanic prophet Muhammad himself he confirmed that how we knew this Muhammad in Sahih al-Bukhari he said that his shaitan order him give him command who is the one who gave Muhammad command shaitan and Muhammad he claimed that the shaitan command him to do good. To do good. Let us see that. <clears throat> Read with me carefully. And the same hadith reported in Sahih al-Bukhari. There is none among you, but he have an attachment from among the jinn, the devil, shayateen. Actually, in Arabic, it says clearly shayateen. And you see here Muhammad saying that, but he does not command me, but for good. Who is the one is commanding him to do good? The devil. So if Muhammad is not receiving satanic verses, what is the command of the devil to Muhammad, which is good to Muhammad? 
Since when the devil give good commands? A Muslim, he might try to say, it doesn't say shayateen. No, my friend, it says shayateen. Read carefully. This is shayateen. Shaitan. And the shaitan, according to Muhammad, his shaitan is a Muslim. He command him to do good. Now, we have tons of approves that Muhammad he received satanic verses and we will confirm that more from Al-Bukhari. Let us go back to Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Let us try to find the following story. This is the story about Ibn al-Mughira. This is where? This is in Ibn Kathir book. Ibn Kathir, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of, of Saudi Arabia. Look what Ibn Kathir in his book he says. That when the Prophet he arrived reciting Allah and Al-Uzza and the Manat, a third one, he said, for you the male and for for you the male and for him the female, which is stupid. Imagine Allah saying to them, What? What is that? You you took them you took the male boys for you and for Allah the, the female daughters, which is showing us that Muhammad is not a stable because what kind of logic is that? If Allah don't have kids anyway, who cares if they are taking the boys for him and giving Allah the, 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 the daughters? Here it says, Al Shaitan wa in the حين ذكر الله الطواغيت فقال إنهن لهن الغرانيق العلا وإن شفاعتهن لهي التي ترتجى. Here Ibn Kathir quoting that when he recite the the chapter of the Najm, he arrived to the Manat and the three etc. He again recited that the three daughters of Allah, the the flying crowns, it is their their intercession is a must. But look what happened here. Ibn Kathir here he mentioned a story. It says. That when those words heard by the mushrikeen, the pagan like Muhammad, and their their tongue start talking about it, they spread the, the news. They said Muhammad he became back to his first religion. His first what? His first religion. Hold on. This is Ibn Kathir. Let me take it. Let me take it. Actually, let me let me let me copy from here. Ibn Kathir confirmed that Muhammad he came back to his religion. What is his religion? Worshipping the three daughters of Allah. Now I know this guy, he will say, he says it's a Mursal, but we showed you Mursal is, you know, is accepted. Listen carefully. And he was traurig über ihre irreführung and so wünschte er sie, and als Allah die Shur den Stern offenbarte, sagte er, wenn sie al el at und al Uzi und den anderen dritten Mann sehen, sind sie männlich und weiblich. Der Teufel machte dann Worte, als Gott die Tyrannen erwähnte, was gefällt, Anführungszeichen, und dies war der Teufel und die Versuchung des Teufels. Und unterzeichnete diese Worte im Herzen eines jeden Pilgmakas, senkte ihre Zungen und versprach ihnen und sagte, dieser Mohammed käme zuerst zu seiner Religion zurück. All right. Now, again, if we look in the English translation, we cannot find this story. As you see, I'm copying right in front of your eyes. And that is shown us big deal how Muslims, they lie when they translate. This is why I say to you, never accept a Muslim translation. Why we cannot find this is in the book of Ibn Kathir in English? It's gone. Now, here we have something bigger, a bigger problem in the story. Why? If we go down here, it says, the story continue. It says that all the pagans and the Muslims, they bow down. Except Al-Walid ibn al-Mughira wa kana rajulan kabira. Except everybody who was in the mosque. He bowed down with Muhammad when he mentioned the three daughters of Allah, the believers and disbelievers. 
Notice with me, believers and disbelievers. Let us see translation. So Muslim will not say we are, especially those who don't speak Arabic. Prostata und Prostata jeder, der an einem Muslim oder einem Pilger teilnahm. Aber Al-Walid bin Al-Mugira war ein großartiger Mann. All right. Now here, somebody is asking why I'm translating to German because we are explaining to the German, my friend. If you don't like it, you can leave. Uh, here we have a problem. What is the problem? The same story mentioned in Al-Bukhari. What they will say now, Al-Bukhari is a weak hadith. Al-Bukhari mentioned that when the Prophet of Allah was reciting this chapter, everybody was in the mosque, bow down with Muhammad, including the kuffar. Including who? The Kuffar. The same story we are showing you about the guy, his name, Al Walid ibn al Mughira. You see him? Let us check that and see if this is true or not. We go here. <clears throat> And read carefully with me the story again mentioned and says exactly as in Ibn Kathir everybody was in the mosque bow down except Al Walid ibn al Mughira who was an old man let us see uh, <coughs> Mm, I see the one. I'm just trying to find you the story. All those stories, imagine, all those stories are reporting the same thing. But I want to show you where the story uh, about this guy. Okay, hold on. Let us go and take it from here. Let us try to search for this sentence here. Notice not even one brave Muslim was able to call us. Okay. Let's see this one. See, I'm trying just to find you in English because in Arab in Arabic it's very easy to find actually. It's not a big big deal. But we want to find it in English. OK. 
Okay, hold on. The show, whatever is there, anyway. Okay, read it carefully. This is the first one. Let us see this one for now. As you see here, all, all the Muslims and the pagan, they agree to worship one God. What made Muhammad, as you see here, it's the same story. When he was reciting a Najm, this is exactly what it was saying in the story of Ibn Kathir and Al-Qurtubi and Al-Tabari and Al-Jalalain and all of them. That when he was reciting an Najm, Shaitan he cast into his mouth and then both all the groups, Muslims and pagans, they bow down. This is Sahih Bukhari as you see. Let us continue. Be careful here. This is Jami' al Turmuzi, and this is Sahih. This is Sahih. The messenger prostrated for it, meaning the Surat and Najm, and did, and and so did the Muslims and the idolaters. Muhammad and the idolaters they are worshiping suddenly one God. What made Muhammad suddenly a friend to the idolaters and they are worshiping the same God and they are bowing down for the same God? Remember, at that time the Kaaba was full. Of idols, and the Muslims they are supposedly in disagreement with the idolaters, and this is why in Kathir says that when the kuffar they saw him worshiping the three daughters of Allah, they say it looked like Muhammad he came back to his old religion. What is his old religion? Worshiping the three daughters of Allah. Let us continue. Um, <clears throat> this is the same hadith again, Sahir Bukhari. As you see, this is reported many times. Here we go. This is the story in Sahir Bukhari reporting that there was an old man, everybody bow down. Everybody bow down as you see, except what? Except an old man who took a handful of a small stone on earth and left it to his forehead and said, This is sufficient for me. And this guy is a kafir. Okay. This is Al Bukhari, hadith number 1067. Go to Ibn Kathir, please. The same story. Al Walid ibn al Mughira and the Muhammad they bow down together and he left some dust from the ground and he put it in his forehead. Let us copy and translate in Prophet Google. Copy paste. Prostata und Prostata jeder, der an einem Muslim oder einem Pilger teilnahm. Aber Al-Walid ibn Al-Mugira war ein großartiger Mann, deshalb nahm er Staub auf seine Handfläche und warf sich nieder. Do you see it, guys? Is it the same story in Ibn Kathir? It is exactly the same story in Ibn Kathir. In, in Sahih al-Bukhari. What the Muslim they did in Sahih al-Bukhari, they took the disaster of the whole story and they reported only what is they like that the believers and disbelievers they bow down but the where is the rest of the story what happened so Sahih bukhari confirmed that muhammad when he recited the chapter of an-najm all the disbelievers and believers they bow down and exactly the same guy who is al-wurid ibn al-mughira who die as a kafir he don't believe in islam he heard Muhammad praying, he prayed behind him. Why a man, he don't believe in the same God, he will pray before, before, behind Muhammad. The Muslim, they say to us that Muhammad was even kicked from Mecca. The, 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 the pagan, they humiliated the Muslims. Uh, the pagan, they refused them, they didn't accept them, etc. And then suddenly, the disbelievers are praying be, behind Muhammad and they are bowing down with him, worshipping the same God. 
I'm not done. Hold on. We go back to Al Alabani, the guy which this guy he liked very much. I like Al Alabani. <laughs> oh boy. This is the story of Al Alabani about Al Walid ibn Al Maghira. This is the story of Al Alabani reporting the same story. Okay. Do Al Alabani says that this is wrong? No, and this is the same story again. That when the disbeliever they bow down, they bow down with Muhammad, for he mentioned the three daughters of Allah. أخرجه الطبري من طريقين عن داود ابن أبي هند. عنه وإسناده صحيح. I will copy the story here and I will translate and then I will read the comment for you from الطبراني or from الألباني sorry which is quoting الطبراني about this hadith. Go to Google Translation. German. Unter der Autorität von Abu Ali sagte er, Koresh sagte zu dem Gesandten Allahs, Friede sei mit ihm, aber deine Gefangenen sind Sklaven der Söhne der Söhne und der Söhne der So und So. Al-Lat und Al-Utza 19 und der andere dritte Mumen 20 satten. Der Shaitan hielt an seiner Zunge, die Arroganten, und ihre Heilung ist wie sie. Vergessen Sie nicht, seine Zunge ist so groß geworden, dass VLZL Gott und hat uns durch ihren Boten oder Propheten zu Gu geschickt. Allah ist der Wissende des Weisen. 52 Hatsch. Alright, let us go now to, to English for those who don't speak German. On the authority of Abu Ali, he said, Quraysh said to the Messenger of Allah, Peace be upon him, but your captives are slaves of the sons of so and the sons of so and so. Al Lut and Al Uza, 19, and the other third Mumon, 20, said, The Shaitan held on his tongue, those who are arrogant, and their healing is like them, do not forget, he said. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, his tongue grew up so that VLZL God, and sent us by you messenger or prophet, to go, Allah is the knower of the wise, 52, Hajj. I like the English translation, it says that his tongue grew up. <laughs> his tongue grew up. No, it says that Shaitan, he put in his mouth, not his tongue grew up, but grew up. So, as you see here, when he mentioned the Lat and Al-Uzza, and this is an Al-Albani, and guess what? If we go back to Alabani, what Alabani will say about this story? Is it weak? Let us see what a tabari he says about it. Read carefully. Akhrajahu at tabari 17120 and Tariq ibn Dawood anhu wa sahih. Walakin the problem with it, it is Mursal. But we showed you that Mursal is accepted. So it is Sahih. Even at tabar even Alabani says this is Isnadahu Sahih. Read and love. We go to the translation. Al Tabari 17 120th narrated it from two paths on the authority of Dawood ibn Abi Hind and his hadith is Sahih to my high father. But his transmission is also reported by Ibn al Mundir and Ibn Abi Haytham. It is Sahih. 
Al-Tabari 1720. erzählte es auf zwei Wegen in der Autorität von Dawood ibn Abi Hind und sein Hadith liegt bei meinem hohen Vater. Aber seine Mitteilung wird auch von ibn Almund hier und ibn Abi Hatim berichtet. Do you see it? Now, the most important thing is that the Quran itself confirmed that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad and Allah will delete it. So how the Muslims can deny it? Who is the Muslim can tell us? If this story is not true as they claim, but as you see, the majority, the, the all almost the scholars agree with it. And they cannot even run away from it. They try, they try to defend, but they cannot. <clears throat> now, as long the Quran says that Allah will delete what shaitan he throw. I heard that this Abdul from Germany, he said that shaitan he was not able to throw. Allah he deleted before he throw. Is that true? That's a big fat lie. If we go to Ibn Kathir and even their English stupid lie translation, we will find the following. Read carefully. <clears throat> Shaitan throws some falsehood in his recitation. This is just the Quran. This is the Quran. This is just translation for the Quran. It's not interpretation, there's no interpretation yet. So Shaitan what throws some falsehood in his recitation, not before he recites, you liar. As you say to the German, that before he speak, Allah deleted. No, in his recitation, and then it says. When he did recite his recitation, Ibn Jarir said in the comment in his interpretation. But Yansahullahu, which shaitan he throw in, which shaitan he throw in already. This is meaning the word nasakh in Arabic to remove <coughs> or lift away, to remove it. And Ali ibn uh, Atalha reported that Ibn Abbas said, this would mean Allah cancel that which shaitan is throw in. Where in his recitation? Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> that he, Allah, he makes what is, uh, what is a throne by shaitan as a trial for those who their heart is a disease. So Allah is part of the conspiracy. Allah and shaitan, they are working together. Allah and shaitan is one now. They are united. Allah, Allah uh, he agree with shaitan. Okay, shaitan, throw some satanic verses. Why? Because we want to deceive some Muslims. Because who is the one here will be in trouble? Me as a Christian who don't believe in Muhammad anyway, or the Muslims. So Muhammad in the verse after it saying that this will be a trial for people. But the, just to cover his ass. Because that will be the Muslims who will be in, in trial. And look what it says. Meaning, doubt, shirk, disbelief, hypocrisy. So Allah is making people in doubt about Muhammad and that will make them hypocrite? If I see a man receiving satanic verses, is it my fault not to believe in him? I mean, do you see how silly the logic is? So all the reference in the front of us confirm with no hesitation. As you see, and look, that evening, this is the book of Asbab al Nuzul. That evening, Jibreel came to him. That evening, Jibreel, peace be upon him, went to the Messenger of Allah, bless him, and give him peace, and said to him, What you have done? What? Jibreel saying to Muhammad, What have you done? Muhammad, until now, he have no idea. Muhammad, he went home and is still the idiot. He do not know what he have done. What you have done? Allah and the Messenger of Allah, Allah bless him, giving peace. He said, uh, uh, he said to him, what you have done? You recited that the people that which I did not bring from Allah. So here is this is the book of Asbab and Nuzul saying clearly that Jibreel came to him and said to him, you recited something is not from Allah. You recited not something in your mind.
and this is the website for the book of Asbab al Nizul. This is an official government website owned by the King of Jordan. Obviously, the one who wrote the book of Asbab al Nizul is a liar because the Muslim they accuse me to be a liar. What we can see, all right. The Messenger of Allah, bless him and give him peace, felt very saddened and was greatly scared of Allah. And so Allah the exalted is he revealed this verse upon this which Quraysh said, Muhammad regretted what he was mentioned regarding the status of the idols. Allah and al Uzza, do you see it? And they become even more aggressive than before. Abu Bakr and Al Harithi informed us Abu Bakr Muhammad ibn Hayyan, Abu Hayyan, or etc., 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 the messenger. Allah bless him and give him peace. Recited, Have you, you yet thought upon Allah and Al Uzza and Manad the third, which upon the devil project in his tongue that they are mighty grant grants in their intercession? Or it is hoped for. The idolater were pleased. They said, "He has mentioned our idols." Do you see it? What this guy is a liar too. A Jalalain is a liar too. A Suyuti is a liar too. If we go to the book of Al Alabani, the one he is showing us, you will see the Alabani admitting. That a Suyuti accept a Suyuti is one of the biggest scars who Alabani Alabani is shesh kebab. But as long they are Muslim, they are using him. And as we showed you that Alabani he agreed that the Prophet he killed a man just because he is jealous. Soon this guy, this Turkish guy in Germany, he will never use Alabani again. But look, we have Al Baghawi as an example, who is the master of Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir always he caught Al Baghawi to prove a point. Al Baghawi he mentioned the same story. And they said, قَدْ ذَكَرَ مُحَمَّدُ آلِهَتُنَا بِأَحْسَنِ الذِّكْرِ Muhammad he never he never he mentioned our gods in the best mentioning. Until now, we did not have one Abdul dare to call from Germany. Any Abdul, brother? Any Abdul have a comment? Any Abdul want to call me and get me busted? In the book of Al Baghawi, Al Baghawi he confirmed that a white shaitan, his name is the white came to Muhammad in the image of Jibreel. Is that right? Any Muslim? This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. Let us see. وقد قال ابن عباس أن شيطانا يقال له الأبيض قد أتى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في سورة جبريل عليه السلام وألقى في قراءة النبي تلك الغرانيق العلا إن شفاعتهن لترتجه. Translation. Until now, as you see, we are not quoting for you from a book of somebody who is a Christian. Not This is not from the book of Christian Prince. This is their books. Why all the Muslims speaking about this if this is not true? Der Teufel sagte zu ihm, war der weiße Gesandte Allahs, Friede sei mit ihm in Form von Gabriel, Friede sei mit ihm. Und in der Lektüre des Propheten gelehrt, Friede sei mit ihm. 
diese Granika Olya und ihre Fürsprache umzubeten. English. Let us switch to English. The devil said to him was the white messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, in the form of Gabriel, peace be upon him, and delivered in the reading of the prophet, peace be upon him. Do you see how much? Ola, and that their intercession to pray. <laughs> so a white devil, he came to him. The devil is not white, by the way. The devil here is being smart because Jibreel is white. There's no way in Islam a devil he will be white. But here the devil, he changed his look. He came in the look of Jibreel as a white angel and he came to Muhammad and he gave him the satanic verses. Do you see it? What else we need to prove? This is why you see women, they say to Muhammad, when when his revelation stopped coming, they said to him, Oh, your shaitan stopped coming to you. Because after that, Muhammad, after he mentioned that shaitan, he came and gave him verses, people they start making fun of him. Do you see it, guys? Hey, Amir. <laughs> What's up, brother? You, you know, when when the when people they start saying to him, Let us read the hate together. Hold hold on, Amir. Shay Sahih al Bukhari said. Once Allah, Allah Apostle became sick and could not offer his night prayer for two or three nights. Then lady, the la a lady, the wife of Abu Lahab, came and said, Oh Muhammad, I think that your shaitan has forsaken you. I have <laughs> not seen him with you for two or three nights. Now, why they are saying that to, to, to Muhammad? Because simply, Muhammad, he confirmed that he, I put you in the screen, Amir. Because mm. Muhammad, he before he said that shaitan, he gave him verses, so people start making fun of him. Where is your shaitan, Muhammad? Ah, huh, shaitan, stop coming to you. Say hello to your shaitan. <laughs> <laughs> and look, Muhammad, he did not say no. You will notice in the story. Did Muhammad, he said to her, no, shaitan did not forsake me. Did Muhammad say, no, shaitan is not my lord? Muhammad did not say anything. He did not even refuse the story. Look what he said here. After she said that to him, do you see Muhammad said anything? Did he say S H W A A P P? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to say it, brother. Muslims they are offended when you are not saying S H W A P P A C. Yeah. yeah. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah pray on him, not for him. <laughs> yeah, salute. Allah pray for not too, brother. And look wow. here. You see, if I, if somebody, a Muslim, call me now and says to me, "Oh, your shaitan is not calling you no more, uh, Christian prince," I will uh, keep my mouth shut, or I will say something. I will, uh, Brother, I will... who is Al Abiyad? Al Abiyad is simply a shaitan who came in the form of Jibril. Ah. Yeah, shaitan. He is a shaitan. He came in the form of Jibril, and supposedly he is the one who gave him the satanic verses. All right. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. There isn't in the sources uh, the the um, the reference is there, huh? For, uh, for we show Al -Al we show even from the books he is quoting for us Al Alabani, and we showed him how many ashamed ashamed stories in Al Alabani accepted by Al Alabani to be sahih, including including his private wife. She is giving her boobs to strangers. You know, I mean, what kind of what kind of uh, of uh, of a woman she would do that? What kind of a prophet he would do that? What kind of a prophet he will order Muslim women to do such a thing? Give him your boobs. Hmm? Give him your boobs. Mm. In different hadith, Muhammad, he said, <laughs> I made a video about this topic. Yeah, we will. But anyway, I'm almost done. Actually, here, uh, uh, here, there's a story about about a guy. He came to the prophet, and he said to him, "I did have sex with a woman. I did with her something, you know." So Muhammad, he said, "Maybe did you did wink? Maybe, or maybe you looked at her." The man he said, "No." Oh, Allah Messenger, the prophet said, 
maybe uh, you kissed her the guy he said no then they said did you if her you look at the first translation of the Muslim they say did you have mm -hmm. sexual intercourse with her in Arabic it doesn't say that it says and this is the F word in Arabic call anik to her did you if her not have inter sexual intercourse did you oh. if her But this is your prophet uh, my lie in, the, in their translation huh? everything you see like if we go now in Ibn Kathir we are reading from Ibn Kathir in Arabic and Ibn Kathir in English the whole story in English is gone in, in mm -hmm. Ibn Kathir in Arabic it says that there is many people they bow down and there is uh, there's an old guy he could not his name is al Walid ibn Mughira he could not bow down and he put some dust in his face and the prophet he mentioned Al-Gharaniq Al-Ula look how many times the story mentioned Al-Gharaniq Al-Ula you see all those all those in the in in the brown in the brown this is the story of Al-Gharaniq but we cannot find it not even once in the English mm -hmm. in the English page not even once where is you know, if we if somebody yeah, gave yeah, me a translation the, the Muslims brother brother because the Muslims who don't speak Arabic they want to left Islam when they translate everything you know yeah that's the story so we lie that's why they we, hide the truth and we hide it and if we go in the English we don't find anything of this where is yeah, the guy yes. where is the guy the old guy who could not bow down where is Muhammad saying the three daughters of Allah where is Manat al -Uzza? where we can find the story it's not there I don't see it this is why I say to Muslims, come and call Christian Prince. He's, he to, to tell you everything. He can show you everything. He can prove it with with, with reference in your scriptures, in your uh, Islamic books. Why why are you scared to um, call him? Well, uh, I don't uh, know uh, Amir, Amir, there's a there's a Muslim. He wanna call me. So let us see. Maybe he will call. Okay, okay, brother. Okay, God bless. Okay. Bye bye. Thank okay. you. All right, the Muslim gentleman who wanna call me, give me a second, please. I wanna get some water, and you can call me. All right, call me uh, the the Muslim who wanna call. Please call. Okay. Yeah, this is what we are talking about, my friend. Somebody is calling me. I don't know if he's watching our videos or not. This is what we are talking about. Muhammad he receives satanic verses. He's a Muslim asking me if Muhammad receives satanic verses. All right, where is the Muslim wanna call me? <clears throat> Anyway, as you see, Islam is nothing but a stupid cult. And you know, by the way, you know, there is many proofs from their Islamic authentic sources. Like when this guy, he caught for me a Lebani, and a Lebani supposed to, in the whole book trying to prove that this story is not uh, not a good story. But as you see, he's saying to, them, saying to us that this is Isnada Hu Sahih. This is a Sahih chain reported hadith. So how you can refuse it? 
an imam like a suyuti look what he's saying in the page one in uh, 31 he says which may I think it says like chapter one verse number uh, uh, page number 31 and uh, I'm not sure if the number here is uh, according to the print or those are numbers just to make it as a uh, uh, sections and Ibn Abbas that when the messenger he read the, the, the chapter of An-Najm and he arrived we said did you see the three daughters of uh, the the Lat al uzza and the Manat the third the, uh, a shaitan he put in his mouth those are the three daughters the three high flying uh, uh, daughters of Allah and then Allah he sent the, the verse which says whenever send a messenger before you etc and this is how it's reported in the book of As-Suyuti. Did As-Suyuti say this is a lie? Absolutely not. And As-Suyuti is not, not a kidding scholar. This is not a scholar anyone can ignore. So they try to fight it, but the story is all over and by the way I can show you tons of fatwas against those Muslims who Muslim they claim that they are scholars like Alabani but as long this guy and his lovers they like Alabani we are so happy to use Alabani to beat you up we believe that all Muslim scholars are a bunch of liars they are trying their best to defend Islam if this is what is written in your books by your scholars about your prophet why you blame us for believing Muhammad is a false prophet if you're a prophet and your your prophet wife report that Muhammad was a bewitched man why you are upset from me to say Muhammad was a satanic man when you say to me Muhammad was bewitched what does that mean that's hmm? mean he's under shaitan as simple as that you Muslims are following a bewitched prophet when Muhammad was under the bewitch of shaitan where is Allah is it Allah in the Quran says that Muhammad uh, Allah he said that to shaitan that you have no authority over the, the one who uh, 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 my followers except the one who follow thee which mean Allah he says that only bad ones shaitan can have authority over them only bad one so how shaitan was able to throw in the mouth of Muhammad and how Muhammad was bewitched let us say for the sake of argument shaitan did not throw anything hmm? and the Quran in chapter 5 verse number 14 and chapter 7 verse 175 says it clearly that shaitan cannot have a power over any good believer except the bad ones which mean the one who is not really a believer how muhammad was bewitched what made shaitan able to bewitch muhammad obviously muhammad is a madman possessed by the devil the Muslim they call it bewitched for us we you know Christians we have different uh, definition for it he is possessed by an evil spirit the devil Muslim do not believe in the devil to be an evil spirit they believe in him supposedly he is a genie made from fire and he is supposedly evil but if you think carefully you will find that Allah is more evil than the evil itself in case you do not remember who is the one who sent the satanic teaching to the earth? It was Allah. In the Quran, Allah He says that He sent two angels, their name is Harut and Marut. Harut and Marut. Allah he decided to open a school in the Babylon which obviously proved that Muhammad is copying stories and fiction stories from someone else 
that there is two angels they came to the earth their name is Harut and Marut and Allah he sent them to teach black magic and they taught the evil ones to do black magic so that will be used to make the wife and the husband fight each other which is a very silly story and stupid what kind of God he want to send two angels and the purpose of their expedition or their mission is to teach magic such as came down at the Babylon to the angels Harut and Marut but neither of those taught anyone such a thing without saying disclaimer disclaimer we are only a trial I mean how the stupid is <laughs> disclaimer why you are teaching people evil Allah he sent two expert angels to teach black magic and the devil they learned that from the angels and the people they learned that from the angels so who is the shaitan and what is the excuse disclaimer we make you sign a disclaimer before we teach you I mean how stupid is that is so first of all who is in the world when I learn how to do black magic unless he is evil anyway if black magic is true why me I will be interested to go all the way to Jamaica to learn about the voodoo unless I am an evil person voodoo so you are saying to me you have a God who established a school to teach voodoo and what is the purpose? The purpose is to cause family destroyed. Read with me carefully. So don't do blasphemy. They learned from the means so so discord between the man and the wife. So Allah He sent two angels just to teach people how to destroy families. What is that? Who is the devil here? If Muhammad is not an evil messenger, how a good man will say that God is teaching people to do destroy family by black magic? How God can be a person who open a school to destroy? Destroy what? Families. This is from God. Obviously, Muhammad is a person who is controlled by the devil. He claimed that the devil act is the act of Allah. Unless he believed that Allah and the devil is one. In many verses in the Quran, Muhammad, he confirmed that Allah is the devil. How that can be? You will notice that Muhammad, he said, not me. That Allah, that people they you know, people they believe or disbelieve because Allah He decide. It's not you who decide to believe. It's not you who decide not to believe. It is the devil he play you. So, if we go in the Quran, we will find tons of verses speaking and saying the same thing. Those who reject our signs are deaf and dumb in the midst of darkness, profound, whom Allah with he will leave to wonder, and whom he with he will be pleases. This is a false translation in Arabic. It says, the one who refuse our sign, what sign? Muhammad they never received any signs. The Quran, this is a sign that's funny. They are deaf and they are mute, and the one who Allah deceive. Who is going to guide him? Nobody. If you change the translation, just to show you the, the, the fiction of Muslim translation. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us see uh, Shakir. And those who reject our communication. Communication? What communication? The Quran. Are deaf and dumb. In outer darkness whom Allah pleases, he causes to error. Allah is the one who caused you to error. And the one who he caused him 
to error nobody can guide him and he is the one who caused you to find the right way it's not you he caused you to be in error if you remember the story of Adam and uh, Moses if you ask Muslim do you Muslim believe that Adam he commits sin? they will say yes the fact that's not true it's not it like uh, let us make that let's rephrase the question do you believe that Adam he commits sin and he broke the command of Allah they will say yes the fact this is a big fat lie in Islam Muhammad he confirmed that Adam was committing sin because Allah he did force him to commit sin the Prophet said Adam and Moses argued about uh, uh, with each other Moses said and this is by the way Sahih Bukhari they cannot say this is a lie here we go this is Sahih Bukhari hadith number 6614 so Moses says to Adam oh Adam you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise then Adam said to him oh Moses Allah favored you with his talk talk to you directly and he is the one who wrote the Torah for you with his hand do you blame me do you what do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation and then Muhammad as usual because he is possessed he repeat the same sentence three times so Adam confuted Moses Adam confuted Moses and the prophet added repeating the same thing three times so Muhammad he agreed with Adam that you cannot blame Adam for the sin he did because this is what Allah he wrote for Adam 40 years before he created him and this is a sin Allah he made him do he have no choice to do or not so why Adam was out of heaven Are we following guys? Obviously, this is satanic words. Because if this is a true, then Adam is a victim of what Allah decides for him. And we are victims too. We are out of heaven because of Adam, and Adam himself was a victim. And this is goes for all of us. Allah He wrote for us before He created us our destiny. How much sin we will do even Muhammad he claimed that when you commit zina which mean adultery it is Allah he decide to you how much adultery you will do and here you notice how will scam what kind of a scam this religion is so why you want to stone someone for committing adultery if Allah is the one who wrote in my destiny how much adultery I will do do you see it verily Allah has fixed the very partition of adultery which a man will in, in, in indulge in that's it he have a fixed adultery for you you have no that's it you will have to do and which he necessity must commit do you see it but Muhammad is saying that it is not shaitan who make you commit adultery it is Allah and you are telling me that Muhammad is not possessed by the devil it is Allah who made me commit adultery and then Allah will punish me for the adultery which he made me commit who is the stupid here Any Muslim have a comment? Isn't it obvious that this is a demonic, satanic logic that we do commit adultery because Allah He decides for us to commit adultery, and not only that, He decides for each one of us how much adultery we will do. So if I'm a person who goes sleep around with one million women, it's not my fault. Allah He decides for me it is a million women.
and this is why there's no way Muhammad to be a prophet of God he claimed that the sin of mankind is not satanic and not the sin of the man it is the sin of God it is God who decides for us God decides for Adam to commit sin that God Allah he decides for us supposedly how much adultery I will do and you will do and she will do If this is a religion, so then what is a scam and garbage? There's a church in San Francisco. They call themselves the Church of Satan. They worship Satan. Well, this is Muhammad. Muhammad is saying to us that Allah is Satan and he is the one who made us commit adultery. So what's Satan's job? What's Satan's job in Islam? Guys, for, for the sake of for Muslims, for the sake of your God, Allah, the Shin, Tell me then what is the job of shaitan if Allah is the one who deceive us if Allah is the one who mislead Adam if Allah is the one who made us commit sin and commit commit adultery so shaitan was doing what watching TV and yet you are trying to prove to me that Muhammad is not a satanic man Because now, after I read this, if I'm a believer, I will feel relaxed. Because, okay, well, uh, it's uh, Allah, He made me commit sin, so what is my fault? Right? I mean, what, what is the guilt here? There's no guilt. There's no guilt. You don't feel guilty no more because it's Allah who made me do that. I can Do I have a control of what Allah He wrote for me? No. So, you know, once, once a Muslim woman, uh, she called life on air and Islamic TV and she said that she is getting older and she is worried that time is going and she will not find a husband the, the sheikh he said to her my daughter don't worry you will get what you deserve the prophet said it is written in the vagina of a woman the name of every man he will if her you believe it do you believe it that Allah he wrote on the vagina of every Muslim woman the name of the one who will if her now for sure the Muslim they will say oh we don't believe in this because this is very stupid and very disgusting imagine if a woman she work as a hooker she will have in her vagina a yellow pages like maybe maybe seven thousand pages let me look for my name Ahmad Ahmad Muhammad Ali Ahmad uh, I see here uh, uh, Obama Trump uh, Muhammad Rasulullah uh, Abu Bakr Sadiq. No, my name is not here yet. Um, I'm looking for my name, brother. Maybe I will find my name there. And these days, anything bringing shame to Islam, the Muslims will deny it. Any Abdul? Any Muslim? anyone you see we have a small number of people here simply because uh, we are using another account please don't forget to subscribe to this account this is a backup account any Muslim want to call us
Guys, don't tell me about hijab, potato, tomato. Who they, they are here? Let him call him. Call me. What I can do? I will force them to call me. Hijab or you know, hijab? Who's who's hijab? You know, just a kid. His stupidity made him famous. Allah, he prayed for not to. For four thousand years, not a single rabbi. Four thousand years, not a single rabbi worship another god. He is instructed to worship one god. He just destroyed his Quran, his prophet. So don't tell me about people. Anyway, I'm here. My Skype is open. The one who wanna call me, he can call me. As simple as that. Who's holding them? Nobody. I challenge that the Dean show, who they have a show to explain Islam supposedly, they will allow me to talk. Just allow me to talk. Hello? Hello, CP, how are you? Hey, my friend. Good to hear your voice, man. man belated Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, I think we, we, we might have a lawsuit coming to you soon. M maybe what? A lawsuit. Oh, okay, why? Uh, Sheikh Tala mm. tells me that you gave me his number to call him. Okay. <laughs> you gave uh, me what? You gave me what? He says that you gave me his number to call him. To call him who? Uh, Sheikh Tala. What number? I don't have a number. People call me by Skype. Exactly. So I told him, uh, maybe he forgets that I had left my number on his fake uh, channel called the True Shop Prevail, which he's changed to Ultimate Truth. And um, I asked him to call me, and then he had called me, and we spoke mm -hmm. for like 45 minutes in French. And uh, he begged me to call you to unblock him. And uh, so I told him, maybe, you know, he, just like Mohammed thought he had, you know, intimacy with his wife's, He's also thinking that you give me his number. <laughs> As if he is a big deal. I just block him. He is not in my list anyway. I mean, let, 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 I mean, who cares? Exactly. Like, stupid people. Yeah. We have no time for kids. This, so guy, like, uh, this guy, he keeps yeah. saying to me, he keeps saying to me that Al-Arab is not the Bedouin. Al-Arab mm -hmm. is not the Bedouin. We can go and read the interpretation. You will see that all the Islamic scholars, they say Al-Arab are the Bedouin. And if we go right now in front of everybody, to the uh, uh, Islamic dictionary, mm -hmm. and we type the word Arab. Mm -hmm. Let me type it here in the front of the eyes of everybody, just to show you that he is certified donkey as the rest. Actually, you know what? I'm going to copy it from the Quran as it is in the front of the Quran, in the front of everybody, so he will not say I'm not copying the same word. It's so funny on his channel. He tells me that he busted you, For and sure. I'm like, that is so funny that yeah. you think you busted CP <laughs> yeah. because you are a laughing. You star. see, this is the Arab I mentioned all over the Quran. We can mm -hmm. take any on any of them, uh, and he is the one who chose for me. As actually saying to me, Al Arab is the most uh, non-believer. So what does Al Arab mean? Let us copy the word Al Arab. And we will paste it in the Islamic dictionary. When I say Islamic dictionary, this is a dictionary owned by the Muslims. Yeah. This is Al Arab. Read with me what it says. Our do technicians you, and team of. Do you see what it says? Yep. Arab of the desert. Those are what Arab. There's Arab and there's Arab of the desert. Arab of the desert is the one who don't have houses. They live in tent. We call them Bedouin. Those are Al Arab. Mm -hmm. Arab are the one who they are Arab live in the desert, but they have houses, which means they have trees around them, they have source of water, they have a spring of water because you cannot build a house in a place unless always there is a stable uh, resource of water and let us say grass and food, right? For anyone, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is the dictionary in the front of us. He has been an idiot, and here it says, yeah. Here we go, it says here, Al Arabu Kalimatul Quran, the words of the Quran, the Bedouins, mm -hmm. the Bedouins. You see, stupid what I can say. 
<laughs> you know, I think the mistake is uh, he thinks it's, uh, the Bedouin uh, means Bedouin. The Bedouin, the, the Bedouin is 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 Bedou too. The word Bedouin is those who live in the desert from the from from the word Badia. Yeah, Bedou is the same. You see Bedouin, Bedouin in English. You are coming from where? From we call them Bedou, Bedou in Arabic. We call them Bedou. Mm -hmm. Badoon is those who have no houses. Badoon, they are you know they 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 flee in the land from place to place, depend where they can find grass. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, don't mention to me such a name of a kid. My, don't waste my time, my friend. Anything no, else? I, Anything else? I, I just I just thought it was so funny, and he's definitely a liar because he some shamoon did a video, and I was speaking with TP earlier today about the, the whole thing about Jesus Barabbas and Jesus Christ. And he doesn't seem to get it that Jesus Christ, even the Bible that he says was corrupted, is still saying that Jesus Christ was the one that was crucified. And some Shamun made a parallel about the atonement in the Old Testament when they have two goats, one was sacrificed, the sins of the people was placed on him and was sacrificed, and one was released to go. And um, some Shamun clearly said there were two goats, but in his video he says, oh, two gods. And then Shamun says, my friend, my friend, that was your time. That was your time. I don't want to hear it. Listen, in the Quran, yeah. chapter 4, verse 157, it says, and they are saying, surely we have killed the Messiah. This yeah. is the Quran. This is the stupid Quran saying that the Jews, they confirm that they killed the Messiah. They don't say Barabbas. The Jews yeah. believe. This is, what the, this is what the Quran is saying. So he's saying mm -hmm. the Quran is lying. If exactly the, because if because if the story there is speaking that the messiah obviously was not killed then the jews they knew that but the quran says the opposite the quran says that the jews say we killed the messiah the son of maryam mm -hmm. so now we have to you know not only that actually it says we killed isa miss uh, uh, messiah isa the son of maryam i mean <laughs> how more so he, 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 anyone he come with such an uh, you know argument he is being stupid he is he is he is the, trying to prove a point but by doing that he destroyed the quran yeah. because what the quran is saying that this is what the jews says what he is saying that the jews are free the other one right yeah Mm -hmm. But the Quran saying the opposite. The Quran says that Jews, they, the Jews thought they killed the Isa, but Allah made someone else appear. So his yeah. story is different from the Quran. So if we take his story over the Quran, that means the Quran is a stupid book again. It is yeah. indeed. Anything else, my friend? That's it. Uh, you know, this guy is, is two things. Either he is deceptively evil. Oh, he's no, no, no. I, you know, don't, he has that's a low IQ. Talk. No, he's a he's a poor guy. We, you know, I feel sorry for them. Put yourself in his shoes; you would do more. Uh, if I am him, I would be eating my boogers, biting my tongue, and uh, throwing hammers over my feet and my toes because I'm angry. Put yourself in his in his shoes, and he see all those stupid things about his religion, and he can't do nothing about it. Yeah, it feel bad. And it feel bad. And then he, he sends me messages calling me the f word and the b word. You know, referring to gay people. I, I don't want to hear. But my friend, I, I advise him to cool himself down. To jump inside the refrigerator from time to time, cool down, freeze yourself. And by the way, in case you do not know, the Quran yeah. says that Allah He sent ice from mountains in heaven. So if you want ice from the mountains of, which is in heaven, huh, uh, I can yeah. call Allah for you because obviously you cannot make a call to your God to tell Him, please, Allah, can you send me some ice which is in mountains in heaven? And look how the Muslim they first translate, they say, Look, and He sent down. Of the cloud that are like like but the Quran never say the word like it's you see even in, in the they say in, in two brackets like yeah. mountains where in is hail why are you are adding the word like every time that you read the Quran and you see things in brackets is the uh, uh, translators trying to lie no to actually you know what? When, they, when they add it uh, brackets uh, that's mean the translator is being trying to be a little bit decent but the, the problem is that most of them they don't add the bracket yeah, you know, but if you if you go and read the interpretation, you will see it doesn't say this is a like. It says it clearly that Allah He sent eyes from mountains in heaven. If we go to Ibn Kathir, this is chapter twenty-four, verse number forty-three. I want to see Ibn Kathir, the English translation, and let us let us love together. Chapter twenty-four, verse number forty-three. Hmm. And again, verse number 43, right? Yes. So everybody will see we are not making things up. 
and this is the Quran interpretation of Ibn Kathir. Okay, let us zoom out. All right, <clears throat> and he sent down from 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 the sky from mountain in it ice. You see it? Okay. Yes. Now he explained means that there are mountains of hail in the sky, which Allah He sent down ice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> As for as for those who say that mountains here is used as a metaphor for a cloud, they think that the second me min the word min in Arabic is also uh -huh. used to describe the place which is ice is coming from. So he's saying there's some people they say that it's a metaphorical, but this is but this is it cannot be. But if you go to the literal. Arabic, yeah. If you go in the Arabic, let us go to the to the Islamic uh, website. If we go here. Uh, 43 we will go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic too all right it says sure. he sent down he sent down from heaven mountain where is hail he says he sent down hail from mountains in heaven and uh -huh. he punished people with it by anyone he don't like if we go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic you will see that Ibn Kathir in Arabic is always totally different from Ibn Kathir in English. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. It says, um, and some of the uh, commentator they said that from mountain and that there is hail, mean. That in the sky there is mountains of hail where Allah He sent from it hail, and there is some and those whom they mean that this is a metaphorical from the uh, from the cloud, and mm -hmm. now he is trying to refute them. Says it is possible here that he meant by this he hit with it, uh, which means by what is coming from the sky there is two kind of rain. One is rain and one is hail, so he hit with it whatever he wish. But in our yeah. it says it clearly that this is a mountain. Anyway, you have a phone call, my friend. Go and answer. All right. Anyway, do we have any Abdul? Mayday, mayday. Any Abdul, my friend? Mayday, mayday. Hmm. Anyone? No Muslims? All right. We are going to finish with this. Look like not even a single Muslim here have the guts to call us. <clears throat> uh, look like they are shaitan forsaking them, the same as shaitan forsake Muhammad. When the, when the wife of the uncle of Muhammad, he said to him, you are shaitan forsaking you. So uh, uh, we did get them busted from their own books with no mercy. And I hope that Aisha, she will uh, uh, recover from the infection and uh, the wife of Muhammad, the infection she have in her private part, because that is making me worry about what's happening with Muhammad. You see, when we see that the wives of Muhammad, they are infected with yellow discharge, so what happened to Muhammad? Because Muhammad is sleeping with them, supposedly. And then Muhammad, he sleep with the rest of the wives. So it looked like the whole family was infected with something very nasty. But if there is any doctor, he can tell us what made the women have a yellow discharge in her private part, as Aisha, she reported. Please inform us so we can get educated. And I advise you, if you have a wife like Aisha and the Prophet like Muhammad sleeping around to be careful and to wear a candom and I believe that this women are infected because of Muhammad sleeping around by the way 
having multi partners cause cancer too if a if a woman she sleep with many men she will have cancer in that location and this is what the science scientists they say doctors it's not me I have no idea I'm not a doctor uh, you know the only certificate I have is a driving license you know I'm I am uh, illiterate like the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him but that make me by the way it's a good thing to be illiterate because that will make you qualified to be a prophet what is missing is I applied once to be a Muslim prophet but they said to me you have to bring us the following a proof that you are a child molester a proof that you are a criminal a proof that you did rape many women a proof that your companion they accused you to steal an underwear a proof that you are a picture of you take a button eyeliner in your eyes three times a day a proof that you like to kiss the children and suck their tongues a proof that you are a person who like uh, to kiss men down their belly a proof uh, that you you are a person who are, is bewitched a proof a proof I mean it's like the list is so in and it's endless and I said sorry I cannot bring all those things you know I mean that's too much I apologize and this is the only reason made me not be qualified to be a prophet of Allah and this is very sad but you know I hope that one day things will get better all right don't forget guys to subscribe to this channel this is a backup one and our other channel if in case you do not know is the Arabian prophet let me post for you the Arab the other one Arabian prophet uh, By the way, I am invited by a, a gentleman. He's, he 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 called his channel uh, the, uh, the Upstate Prophet. The Upstate Prophet. All right. So uh, supposedly we will have uh, maybe uh, together we will have a live sh uh, program either in seven of January or eight. I'm not sure. He will confirm to me. All right. So uh, so just uh, put that in your schedule. This is the Arabian Prophet channel. If you open the YouTube there, you can subscribe. And don't forget, please, to the opposite prophet. Yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because, as we said, this is a backup one. All right. So I want to say thank you. He is a German too. I don't think so. I don't know. He is an ex-Muslim, as I know. That's all what I know. I do not know. For me, I don't mind to be, you know, uh, speaking to anyone. As you see, people they can call me. I mean, there's no different. People they can call me, whoever they are. And this uh, gentleman supposedly he exposes Islam, so it's good. Uh, anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Please feel free to download my videos. And if you are a German, share it with everybody. And I will appreciate if those who speak German they add subtitle to my video in German. I mean, I know it's a long video, it's not really easy, but maybe you can cut it parts and you know do what you can do all right so thank you may the lord bless you and uh, i hope we did not offend uh, anyone and if i did okay well what i can do i mean please forgive me i will try next time to offend less but that will not change the fact that your prophet is a false prophet my friend oh did i say false prophet he got offended I don't mean to say he's a false prophet. I mean to say he's a liar. Oh, I should not say that. Let me try to find another word. Um, he's a fake prophet. Did you feel better? Oh no, this is still not good. Um, uh, okay, uh, let us use what is written in the hadith. Muhammad was a bewitched man. Are you happy now? I don't think I can say I'm offending you because the hadith Aisha she said that the prophet was bewitched. So I think this is the best way to describe your prophet, the bewitched prophet. And I hope you are happy with this description, which fit perfectly with your prophet wife description. Unless you want to say that the prophet wife, she was insulting her husband. And that would be shameful. I don't think so. I think she liked him very much, especially because he is bewitched. I notice that women, they like a husband who is bewitched because simply he do not know what he's doing. They can take as a credit card they can do shopping they can do whatever I, I think many women they would like to see their husband is bewitched and especially their mother-in-law 
thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and merry christmas and i hope you will have a good time with your family in this great time uh, before a few days of the new year christ is lord and islam is false see you soon again bye bye